from the outfield, but just play leads. occurred in a region championship game where emotions Sammy, were high and where the intensity and of the game is strong. The video evidence is clear that this is what happened during the play. Cisco hit a single to left field, and there was a close play at home plate. Our catcher <coughs> caught, caught the ball while attempting to block home plate with his foot and applying the tag to the Cisco runner attempting to score. The play was bang bang at home plate, and our guy did not know whether he had tagged the runner out or if the runner had actually touched home plate. He then went back to re-tag the runner. Once he re-tagged the runner, he stood up and started looking for the next play. The Cisco runner got up and came up behind our catcher and said something to him. Our ca catcher reacted to what was said and went towards the Cisco player and chest bumped him. At that time, the Cisco bench cleared and our bench followed. Both the McLennan and the Cisco coaching staffs were quickly able to get in between the players and redirect their teams back to the dugouts. The entirety of the confrontation took 15 seconds before players had been separated and headed back to their dugouts and back to their positions on the field. Let me restate the fact that the entirety of the situation took 15 seconds and not a single extended arm push or punch was thrown. Arguably the most aggressive thing that happened on the field during the entire confrontation was the home plate umpire physically pushing our catcher back some 20 foot plus feet rather than getting in between the two groups of players and shouting instructions to separate. Make no mistake about it, in my opinion, the home plate umpire played a, played a key role in creating the situation. I want to say that five years here at McLennan, I have never been ejected from a game and have only had one player ejected in over 250 games played. While I am disappointed that the NJCA will not change their stance on the situation, it is now my job to help these young men move on with their lives and learn from the situation that even when things do not go your way in life, there's a right way and a wrong way to handle these situations. I'm sure that our players will handle this with great class. In short, I want you to know that I am very proud of my players and coaches for their toughness, for their tenacity, for their teamwork, and their great efforts not only this week but throughout this season. Is that these kids and the Cisco players are really talented kids who have put in a lot to this deal. All right, and in one moment of a championship atmosphere, okay, bang, bang play, okay, for 15 seconds this happened. Do I think that my catcher wishes that he wouldn't have gone at the Cisco guy? Absolutely. And I'll bet the Cisco player, if he's being honest, wishes he wouldn't have said what he said to my guy. Whether he admits he said it or not, I know what happened. I can look at the video and I can see it, okay? So yeah, I think both teams wish that this wouldn't have happened at all. And I actually think that both coaching staffs and both teams showed great restraint in keeping it from happening. This idea of it not being a sportsmanship thing is crazy because we have video proof of 15 seconds after this happening, a Cisco player and a McLennan player hugging at second base for crying out loud. That's how violent this entire thing was. It'll be an RBI single by Smith that brings in Hollis. There wasn't much in the way of a collision at home plate. It was just a quick play. And I think that perhaps Thornquist thought that there was a feet first slide coming in that he didn't appreciate. And now Coach Thompson and Coach White are standing at home plate. The officials are going to convene.